Residents of River State and its environs may have been sitting on a keg of gunpowder in the last five years as they continue to tackle hydrocarbon soot droppings. It is not clear where the soot is coming from, but a public health expert, Dr. Dinye Briggs, has said that soot can be responsible for infertility. Dr. Dinye Briggs raises an alarm over the rise in infertility in men residing in Port Harcourt, the River State capital, due to high concentration of soot in the city's atmosphere. He claimed the recent research carried out at the University of Port Harcourt Teaching Hospital revealed this. The majority of males resident in Port Harcourt, their spent cells have abnormalities, structural abnormalities, which means they cannot impregnate women. So I've given a presentation before when I talked about the suit having the capacity to cause infertility. And somebody was arguing, this is not historically done by me, it was done in 2017. And that's what is there. So yes, the suit can cause infertility. This is a study for males, it can also cause infertility for females. So Environmentalist and gender activist Emen Okun called for a strategic approach to deal with the suit challenge. She spoke alongside others. The public also need to understand the implications of what we inhale or that black thing we notice in our houses and in our offices. So we are looking at increasing awareness, undertaking livelihood activities because if people have to leave the poor fire business, a lot of people are cooking the oil, other people are undertaking the marketing of the product. Air quality monitoring is just one of several interventions or recommendations that have been made by presenters. That there is need for us to regularly monitor the quality of air in Port Harcourt and even in the wider river state. If we put in place several refineries, all fractions of the crude oil will be well handled. And then, so the fraction that they lose, the one they use in firing their systems, can actually be saved in part in the sense that they can actually make some good uh, profit from that. We recommended that we should have a system whereby the license to be given to these modular refinery operators should be slashed down to about 70% so that we can have people come in. I think they need to liberalize and declare a kind of state of emergency on the issue of suit in River State and also be able to address the sources of the suit by providing alternative livelihood opportunities for you who are involved in this. Soot, a black carbonaceous substance, is produced during the incomplete combustion of coal, wood, oil, rising in particles that may become airborne. Health experts said soot causes various types of cancer and lung diseases. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.